Can you shine your, uh... I can't tell. I need glasses. Just give it to me. All right, chill. No, it's Starbucks. No, uh, are you sure? Yeah, I can make out the word chai tea latte. Plus, there's coffee grounds all over it. <laughs> This isn't funny. Come on, it's a little funny. Here in a dumpster because of you. Wait, how is this on me? How is this not on you? Uh, he stole my receipt. I got played here. No, you screwed a married guy. How was I supposed to know that he was married? Maybe take one more minute of conversation before you drop your pants. Are you slut shaming me? No, I'm just plain shaming you. You're on the wrong side of history. Trust me. Because once again, you make the smart, responsible decision. You know what, Beth? I'm really sorry, but it's not my problem that you haven't had sex since Emma was born, and it's all dried up as fucking twigs in there. You're a child. Yeah. I'm a child, and you're all about that responsibility living lifestyle, right? That's why you let that lying douchebag off the hook? What are you talking about? You could have busted his cheating ass, but you didn't. You just let him get away with it. I didn't let him get away with anything. That's exactly what you did. I just saw you. You think she doesn't know? The state of that woman's marriage was written all over her face. We didn't have to tell her. She already knows. Found it. Thank God. It was underneath his kid's artwork. So we're good? Yeah, we're good. Well, let's get the hell out of here.
Why would you eat that? Why? Yeah. Because it tastes good. But it's not good for you. I'm aware of that. Well, why would you do something that you know it's not good for you? Because I don't think about it. That's living in denial. Living in denial? Yeah. I'm aware of that. Oh, so you're aware of your behavior and yet you continue to do things that aren't good for you. Isn't that sort of foolish? Don't you think so, Jack? No. Stealing 15 million dollars from Jimmy Serrano seems foolish. You don't think I'd get caught? Oh. So you're aware of your behavior and yet you continue to do things that aren't good for you. Doesn't that seem kind of foolish, John? It was foolish. But taking 50 million of mob money to give to charity was good for a lot of people. Oh, so you pissed off a mafioso killer just to be loved by a bunch of fucking strangers. Makes a lot of sense. Don't you want to be loved? Yeah. Lots of people love me. Really? Who? I've got an ex-wife and a daughter. Chicago. How do they put up with all your sarcasm? Beautifully. I haven't seen either of them in nine years. The job must have been tough on them. No. I didn't do this then. What do you do? I was... I was a cop. You were a cop in Chicago. Then you must know everything about Jimmy. Do you have the right to ask me certain questions? Yeah, I think I do. No, you don't. I think I do. No, you don't. Why not? Dinner's over. Let's go. I see there's going to be some fucking trip, boy. I wouldn't worry about it, Jack. I'm not going to be with you that much longer. What do you mean? For what I've heard about Serrano, if I go to jail, I'll be dead within 24 hours. So, sooner or later, I'll have to give you the slip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you find it humorous. <sighs> uh, I'm just going to leave it there? That's littering. Yeah? Well, there are people hired to clean that up. Yeah, but they shouldn't have to pick up your refuse when there's a trash can right there. Jesus. You have something else to know then? Come on. So you got a wife, huh? She pretty? Stop asking me oh. these damn questions. And your daughter, huh? What? She's I'm nine. Me. Jesus. a question? What do you think of me? What do you mean? We've known each other a long time. You must have formed some opinion. Well, I always thought that you're a very nice person. Did you know I was an alcoholic? What? Did you know that? Look, I think I should be going. Sit down. Benjamin. Thompson, uh, if you don't mind me saying so, this conversation is getting a little strange. I'm sure that Mr. Thompson would be home. My right husband in a will be back quite late. 
What's wrong? I mean, you didn't expect. What? I mean, you didn't really think that I would do something like that. Like what? What do you think? Well, I don't know. You give me drinks, put on music, open up about your personal life, and then you tell me that your husband won't be home for hours. So? You're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Come closer. Good. Now finish your drink. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jilly loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, bless you, please, Mrs. Robinson. Heaven holds a place for those who pray. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. So, why did you and Ruby break up? I didn't like her as much as she liked me. What about you? How's it going with that Isaac guy? Yeah. Things are good. I like him. I know you left me a voicemail. Can we not uh, talk about that? It's embarrassing enough you ignored me for months. Or must pretend it didn't happen. Never got it. Isaac deleted it. What do you mean deleted? He was trying to protect me, apparently. So you... You never heard it? No. Nope. How long have you known? A couple of weeks. And you didn't say anything. You acted like a complete dick to me last semester. You don't get let off the hook because you call up once just to say I'm sorry. That's exactly how apologies work, Maeve. He shouldn't have deleted it. No. He shouldn't have. What did it say? The voicemail. It was something like, Hi, Maeve. I'm watching you on TV right now. And I wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. And you saying you have feelings for me was all I ever wanted to hear. Because it's always been you. I love you. Anyways, it was stupid. Did you mean it? Did you mean it? Of course I meant it. I don't want to lose you again. My wishes are sincere. What's to say for all the days I cannot bear? Post to me at nine. 
Mark. Have you slept yet? I have to add a feature. What are you adding? Shit. That looks good. It's clean and simple, but watch. What are you writing? Relationship status. That's what drives life at college. Are you having sex or aren't you? That's what the Facebook will be about. People are gonna log on because after all the cake and watermelon, there's a chance that they're Meet gonna- Meet a girl. Get laid, yes. Really? And that's it. What do you mean? It's ready. It's ready? Yeah. Right now? Right now. It's ready, and here's the masthead. Erica Saverin, co-founder and CFO? Yeah. You have no idea what this will mean to my father. Sure I do. When's it gonna go live? Right now, get your phone out. Why do we need my phone? Because you have emails for everyone at Phoenix. I don't think they would like if I spam their- It's not spam. I didn't mean spam, it's not spam, it's just- If we send it to our friends, it'll just bounce around the computer lab. I haven't even gotten these in yet. These guys know people and these guys know girls. I need their emails. Sure. Good. Let's start with the president. Jabberwock12 at harvard.edu. Like the Lewis Carroll? Yeah. These guys. I know. I think they're literary geniuses because the world's most obvious Lewis Carroll references in there. They're not so bad. Just saying. You're right. Okay. We're live. We should go out for drinks to celebrate. Mark. Mark. Are you praying? I felt terrible for you him. You had no right. Things were gonna crash down eventually. You just ruined my marriage. What marriage? Fuck you. Look, you're miserable. And if you're too chicken shit to do anything about it, then I will. Oh, so you know what's best for me. Yes, you're my sister. We're supposed to help each other out, remember? You said that. This is different. How? We are adults. This is my marriage. <laughs> If you think that's a marriage, then you're fucking nuts, okay? I'm sorry. Enjoy your marital bliss. Okay, yeah, go, leave anyway. This is not working out. You know what the sad thing is? We're a good team. Oh yeah, and you'd be a real good to have around if you weren't such a fuck up. We're both fuck ups, okay? I, and I'm tired of you acting like you're the healthy one and I'm your special needs kid. What does it even matter anymore, Milo? You got your revenge, you got it. I just wanted to lay it all down on the table. That's what I wanted to do. You want to lay it all down on the table? Yes. Then go for it. You're mentally unstable. You're a prick. You need professional help. <laughs> this coming from a guy who just got out of a mental ward. Maybe I should try fucking my problems away. Yeah. Maybe you should.
Why are you looking at me like that? What do you mean? How am I looking at you? Differently. I don't know. How do you want me to look at you? You're different. Oh. I don't know why I came here. I mean, what are we doing? We're sitting here and we're eating and we're talking, but no one is actually saying anything. What do you want me to say? What do you want to talk about? Why didn't you call? I mean, did I not deserve any, any more explanation than that letter? You couldn't have called me. You couldn't give me some more explanation or a chance to like change your mind. You don't think you owe me that? I couldn't. You couldn't. Why? Because I couldn't. Give me an answer. Why? Why not? Because just hearing your voice, I would have changed my mind. Is that what you want to hear, John? Is that what you came all this way to hear from me? And what? You think it was easy for me without you? You thought that every single day it was in a goddamn marathon of my life without you. Tim was sick. He was sick and he needed me. He needed me to help him. You don't think I've tried. I picked up the phone a thousand times to try to call you. You think that I really want to be standing here in front of you like this. I had no choice. I know. I should go. See you soon then. Say it back. When I say it, you say it, remember? Goodbye, Savannah. The flowers in spring. Brainstorm, year 11. What are we gonna do? Renovate the basement. Oh, wow, fun. Happy anniversary. <laughs> what? We've got mold. We've got bugs. Exactly, it's a murder scape, lost cause. What else? Oh, I was thinking, maybe I could kill Barb. I slash we. Barb Bressler? No, Streisand. Yes, Barb Bressler, <laughs> wicked witch of the cul-de-sac. Murder Barb. Or, you know, maybe just her dog. I'd settle for her little dog, Susan. Oh, Susan. Did you know that thing has 10,000 followers on Instagram? I did not. OK, we have two goals so far, although one is a felony. It's a public service, really. Correct. Still, what are we going to do for us? I mean, considering we survived the shitstorm that was year 10, I think it's kind of like go big or go home, right? So we go big, then. What do you have in mind? Italy. Six weeks. Rome, Venice, Tuscany, gelato, museums, wine tours, you and me. What do you think? Well, you had me a gelato, so. Good, because we leave in two weeks. You booked it already. Yeah, I went big. Without asking me. You're not happy? How long are we going? Six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, what about work? 
You can take the time. <sighs> it's okay. Don't get upset. <sighs> I fucked up. Again. No, no, it's okay. I promise we'll figure it so out. stupid. You're not stupid. I was just It surprised. doesn't matter what I do. It's all you see. If I'm pissed off, I'm crazy. If I want sex, I'm crazy. If I book tickets to fucking Italy, okay. I'm crazy. Italy was a big purchase. And impulsive, and I'm not sure I can take six weeks off of work, but I'll try. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Just... Just let me figure it out. Thank you, baby. Dick and Harry, you looking in my face. I know they wanna say. Sing. 